Mm-hmm. Four as well? Five and six the problem? I got six oh, answers. I should sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the answer. I got six answers, but I don't know if they're right. Alright, okay. But you managed to get six answers, so that's yeah. something. Okay. Um, one second while it opens the notepad. That means zero. Zero? <laughs> that's not going to be good for your exam after the holiday. Right, what's the first one? A three kilowatt heater heats the bedroom for one hour. How much work is done? Assume efficiency is 100%. Ah, easy peasy. Yeah. So uh, this is just power equals work over time. So work equals power multiply time. That's 3,000. And how many seconds in an hour? 3,600. 10.8 million over 10.2. It's a big one. Yeah, and many zeros. Um, M, yeah, very good. Mega joules. Is that it for number one? Yes. Yeah, okay. Number two. A fork lift, lift 200 kilograms of potatoes of height of one meter and four seconds. What is the power in the fork lift? Okay, so it lifts the 200 kilograms of potatoes one meter in four seconds. So we'll just go straight into our formula. Power equals work over time. Now, what work is the forklift doing? Uh, yeah, it's lifting the potatoes, so it's giving the potatoes potential energy. So the work done is giving the potential energy to the potatoes. So the formula for work is MGH. MGH yeah. Now this is great because you know all the numbers. The M um, 200, 9.81, 1, 1, and 4. In the question? You have this answer already? Yeah, 490.5. Yeah, 490.5, yeah. So, 491... Yeah. What? Yeah. In which number one is not 10.8? Oh, sorry. Let me double check. 10.8 No, I think it's 10.8. You divide it by a million. I think it's divided by 100. So the efficiency was just for the... Maybe. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, is that it for number two? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Number three? So 50 watt TV has, a, has an efficiency of 30%. How much light and sound energy is produced in one hour and how much heat? Okay. 50%. Yeah. No, 30% efficient. Sorry. Now, um, I suppose what I'm testing here in this question is not only efficiency, but if you understand what is the input and what is the output. Yeah. So if I, if the TV, if it says uh, like on the TV, I don't even, maybe it says it on something like this. Oh, hello. Yeah. I'll show you. Come on. Right. Do you see there on the bottom? I'll show everybody. Power. Mm-hmm. What's it say? Three. 320 watts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you see here, most electrical appliances, they have the power printed on it somewhere. So here you can see the power of this is 320 mm-hmm. watts. Yeah, can you see that? 320 watts. It's at the bottom of the mm-hmm. table. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, the TV will be the same. It will say on the TV the power. Um, it will say something like power 50 watts. Here it's 220. Okay. So, what I want to know, is that an input or an output power? Output. It's input. 
Yeah. Because it's telling you how much power it will take in to use it. Yeah. So, here, this is in. Yeah. So, so this is the multiply 9.81. Wait, wait. Why 9.81? What are you doing? 50 times 3.3. No. 9.81. Yeah. 30 over 100. 50. Yeah. So. 50 over 30. Power in over power out times 100 percent should equal 30 percent. Now, this one we know. It's 50. Uh, yeah. yeah? No, I didn't call Oh, sorry. I wrote it upside down. No, no. My, my bad. My bad. I wrote it upside down. Sorry. Out here. In here. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. Uh, so, uh, power out over 50 times 100 equals 30, because the 50 is 50 watts and the 100 is 130, 30. So, let's see what so we get here. 30 over 50. 30 times 50 over 100. Yes, maybe. Maybe. Power out equals 15 watts. Now this is the power which is useful, isn't it? Yeah. And I also ask, what is the wasted energy? So I'll call that P waste. So how much is wasted? Uh, 35. 35, good. And then I ask you how much is wasted in one hour, is it? Yeah, so the total is 50. Yeah. Um, Power equals work over time, so work equals power multiply time. And what did I say was one hour, was it? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll just multiply these by the time. What's the time here? 3600. Yeah, 3600. So the energy waste, or the energy that was useful and the energy that was wasted. Uh, so if I multiply this by 3600, I get. 54000 joules 126000 joules okay or if you want 54 kilojoules 126 kilojoules so is w yeah sorry i should really use w What did you do wrong, Mayor? I first find the power, like uh, I find the work, and then I, mm, you know, one more time I did the first step to do this. You did the first step at the end? Yeah. yeah okay. I, there was one more step in my answer. Okay. Okay, did you write this down? What, what's that? Oh, E output. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, let's go down to four. Uh, what's happening in four, Adnan? Oh, you're not ready yet, are you? No. Uh, brakes on a car are zero percent efficient. They produce no useful output of energy. A high percent engine could capture some of the lost energy and store it in a battery. If a high percent brakes are e even only ten percent efficient, then the then calculate how much energy is stored in the battery when a 1,500 kilogram brake stored from 120 kilometers zero. Okay. So what's happening here is you have a car moving at 120 kilometers per hour. Um, what's the kinetic energy? This is 33.3 meters per second, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So the kinetic energy is a half m v squared, which equals uh, 750 times. It's a big number, isn't it? Yes. 
Uh, we'll do it in kilos? No, maybe we should do it in megas. I got 83.3 megajoules? That's huge. Let me double check that, I don't believe it. A half m v squared divided by mega. No, too big. 0 0.83 megajoules. Is that what you got? I didn't, I didn't convert it. You, oh, you left it as a, okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll just leave it in kilos. Yeah, I'll just do it in kilojoules. 833 eight, three kilojoules. Mm -hmm. That's a bit better. Okay, so when your car is moving at 120 kilometers per hour, there's this much kinetic energy in the car. When the car stops, where does this energy go? Um, mm -hmm. The heat. Yeah. Heat of the brake pads. Mm -hmm. This energy is completely wasted. This is 0% efficient. Okay? Uh, if you think about it, when you have your car and it's moving along and it has kinetic energy, when you stop, all that kinetic, kinetic energy just becomes heat in the wheel. So this is 0% efficient, the brakes. All the energy is used to just become heat and then it's gone. You don't want this. You want to take some of the energy back. You don't want it all to just be heat. Okay. So um, have you ever heard of a hybrid car? Yeah. Yes. Hybrid car yeah. are half, the half, yeah, the half the electric, electric, half electric, half petrol. Yeah. This After is a, uh, I think 30 meters per second they, they move on to the petrol. Oh, I think it might be less than that, but you're right. It's after a certain speed, it switches from electric to petrol. Yeah. The nice thing. But how will you know that from hmm? electric to petrol? The speed. When the car is going fast enough, it switches the engine. Yeah. Yeah. They have, it has two engines? Yes. Yeah, electric and a petrol engine, yeah. Mm. So, what happens when you put your yeah. foot on the brake and the car stops? The battery, no, well, the battery gets charged up from the brakes. So when you put your foot down to stop the car, the energy in the wheel moves into the battery here. And then later, hmm, we'll see this the, exactly how in semester two. But there is a way to take the energy from the brakes and put them into the battery. Later, when you're stopped and you need to start, when you put your foot to go, the energy, the energy comes back from the battery. Yeah. So rather than wasting all the energy as heat, some of the energy is captured and reused. Even if only 10% of the energy was recaptured, how much energy would that be uh, saved, captured? Well, what's 10% of this? 80... Yeah, just divide by 10. 83.3 kilojoules. This is how much you can save in the battery. That's a lot, okay? That's 83,000 joules that you manage to save. And that's if it's only 10%. So if you ever drive a hybrid car, every time you put your foot on the brake, the battery charges up. Okay, yeah? But the brake will be weak? Weak from the charging, is it? or? No. Um, because it transferred to... Yeah, no, good point. The way it transfers should not weaken the brakes. Mm -hmm. It should still be okay. Um, because it shouldn't, it shouldn't damage the brakes by transferring it. It shouldn't, it shouldn't. The energy rate has nothing to do with how, how the brakes are. 
It doesn't matter, yeah, it doesn't matter if the brakes are strong or weak. When the car stops one way or another, all the energy is going to become heat in the brake pads anyways. So if the brakes are stronger, that just happens quicker. So it's more power, but the total energy loss is still the same. Yeah. Um, okay. Is there more to this part, or is that it for four? Mm -hmm. No, five then. A student consumes 7.5 megajoule worth of chemical energy. Okay, all right. So um, you have our student, and they eat a chocolate bar or whatever, and how much? 7.5 mm -hmm. megajoules. Oh, 7.2. Okay. Yes. Tasty chocolate bar. Right, then what happens? Well, the gym converts half of this into kinetic energy, potential energy, and heat over one hour. How powerful? Great, okay. So, what happens is over one hour, uh, this energy is converted into kinetic and potential and heat. Yeah? And they're 50% efficient. So, the way I think about it is 50% of it is lost as heat, but 50% uh, of it is actually done for work. So, you can do this simply. If there's 7.2 megajoules, how much is actually used for work? Yeah, what would it be? Power equals work over time. What's the time? It's one hour, was it? Now, what do I use for the work? Look, work out over work in multiply by 100, what did this equal? 50. Yeah. Now, that 7.2 megajoules, is that in or out? In. It's in, because they ate it as a chocolate bar. So, 7.2 times 10 to the 6, W times 100 equals 50. So, the work output, this will be 3.6 megajoules. It's 50 divided by 100 multiplied by this. We have to bring this up here and bring this over here. But that makes sense because that's half of 7.2. Yeah. So can you just say it's half? Yeah, so that's what I was trying to do, but you were all looking at me sleepy. So uh, 3.6. Okay, so if I go back. So on the top is 3.6 times 10 to the 6. So what do I get here? Do we have it? A thousand. One kilo watt. Okay. One more question? Nine kilowatts. The engine is twenty-five percent efficient. One sec. Power is nine kilowatts, and that is input or output. Input. It's input, yeah. And what do you say the efficiency was? Twenty-five percent. Twenty-five percent. The engine causes the 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 vehicle to to move at a constant speed of ten meters per second up ahead. Okay. So what's happening here is the engine is making the car move up a hill at 10 meters per second, yeah. Why is the vehicle moving at a constant speed up the hill mm -hmm. and not accelerate? Right, so the first question, tell me, why is the vehicle moving at constant speed? What would be causing this? Up a hill. Yeah, but why would it not accelerate if the engine is running? Why is it not getting faster? Gravity is taking. Yeah. The drag. Yeah. What about the drag? It equals the thrust. Yeah, that's it. So the reason it's not accelerating is because the force here, 
will equal what you said, the gravity, the weight, the force here, then it's not accelerating. Who, which law is this? Uh, Newton. Which one? The second one? No. Nope. The first one. Newton's first law. Okay. So that's the first part. What's the second part? What is the driver of force? Right. So, we want to calculate the output energy. I really hope that you can just do this easily. If it's 9 kilowatts in and it's 25% efficient, calculate what the output is. No, 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 calculate it. Don't look at me with that sleepy head. Just calculate it, <laughs> all right? Thank you. 2.25 kilowatts. Okay. I'm going to go to the side for a moment. Or oh, maybe here, actually, yeah. This is the side for the moment. So the engine has a force going up, making the car move. True? Yeah. Uh, and we want to know how big is this force. So, please look carefully, watch carefully. Um, what's the formula for power? W over time. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'll put it in here if I can just zoom out a bit. Let me just put this here. Yeah, okay. So, power equals work over time. But what's the formula for work? Do you remember? Work, yeah. Oh, force, yeah, force yes. multiply distance mm -hmm. over time. This is moving at a constant speed, true? Yes. So we can use this triangle, remember, distance, speed, speed time. So what is distance divided by, uh, what is it, distance divided by time, sorry, distance divided by time, let me just, this way, that's speed. So look, distance divided by time, that's speed. So power equals FV. Mm -hmm. So what does F equal? Power divided by V. So because I know the power, and because I know the speed, I can know the F by dividing. Yeah. 2, 2, 5, 0... Oh, divided by 10 and that is 2 to 5 newtons this formula is not in the book you have to kind of make it yourself but it's a very useful formula because if you know the power and the speed you can know what the force is so this is important trick Okay, write this down for sure, Adnan. Why are you so tired? Well, I'm tired. From what? Do you eat breakfast? No. no, 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 no. Oh, there, there you have your answer. Yeah. That's your mistake. No. Your mistake. Your no, no, no. mistake. No, 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 no. Like what you Cereal, yeah. porridge, uh, egg, omelette, omelet, yeah, yeah. chocolate muffin, donut, so cereal bar, yogurt, uh -huh. yeah. bread, toast, bread, toast cheese, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a croissant, bagel, yeah. fruit, fruit, so many choices, <laughs> smoothie, whatever. Great. Oh, my, my, maybe not for yeah, breakfast. Yeah, not for breakfast. Have you ever eaten biryani? I don't think I have. Do you know oh, what biryani? Maybe I know it if I see it. Biryani? Rice and chicken. 
Yeah. How about that? I would have had it. Is it spicy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Not huge. Like, you can't have much spicy. Yeah? Yeah. Spicy is nicer. Yeah. Spicy. Yeah. Um, what's the, is there a next part or is that it? How much waste, uh, waste is heat energy is produced? Ah, okay. In so. That's, again, if this is how much is useful, how much is wasted then? So we just do the minus. minus. Yeah, power wasted. What would that be? Uh, 6.75? Is it? Yeah. 6.75 kilowatts. Is that correct? Yeah. So the wasted energy, power equals work over time, so work equals power multiplied by time. So it will just be 6, 7, 5, all multiplied by 10. So it's 6, 7, 5, all, all joules wasted as heat energy from the engine over 10 seconds. If it was 20, we should just multiply by 2. And where did you get the power? Get which? Power wasted. This okay. is 9 minus 2.25. It's just like, what was it? Yeah, just like with the TV, wasn't it? With the 35. Yeah, 50 minus 15. Okay, was that the last part? Yes. Yeah, okay. These are all like exam questions, you know. So if you're having trouble, it means you need to practice more or do more revision. Yeah? They will be the same as they are like or in the exam. Sometimes the method is changing, like in the procedure is changing, they can ask something else out of this. Question like question number two here. I've seen that in the exam, you know. Uh, and remember in the last example the question with the pump with the water? That was an exam question. So if you're having trouble, you need to practice more. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look at the next lesson then. This is all recorded anyways. Yeah. The important thing is you revise what went wrong for you. Yeah. I don't expect you to get them 100% right the first time, because then what's the point in being here if you can do them already, you know? So but the important thing is you revise what you had trouble with. Yes, Adnan? Did you get them 100% right? No. The important thing is you revise and understand what went wrong. Okay?